Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I wanna to talk about how we don't say RTFM anymore. It is a beautiful morning here in England. Like during the winter time is always hit or miss. It's usually gonna be, you know, drab and nasty and rainy and everything like that, or it's gonna be beautiful and sunny. It's never really snowy here. But anyway, it's a beautiful morning here today. Anyway, today I wanna to talk a little bit about software design and how as developers is something we always have to take into consideration. A lot of the times over the through Overpass, I take on existing projects, like something that was done by another developer, and for whatever reason, they did, they fell out with the other developers. The developers just couldn't deliver, or maybe the developers were too expensive. Uh, I never liked that last one, but for many reasons, they'll they'll bring a project uh, to me, and I'll either get other developers to work on it, or if it's something pretty simple, or if it's something that's fun, I'll just do it myself. And a lot of the times when we're looking at these things, like I, I just basically keep it the same design, the same usability, but every so often I'm thinking, this is really awkward the way this works. So I'll ask about it. And a lot of the times they'll say like, I'll say like, why is this button here? Like, don't you think it'd be easier if like we had this on the front page or whatever? And they're like, oh, well the, the last developer did, did it that way and nobody questioned it. Like they came to me and they, they never even said anything to the previous developer. They just thought that's just the way it's supposed to be. They're thinking I'm not technical. So who am I to tell the developer how everything should be laid out, right? And a lot of times us as developers, we know that, hey, we can do whatever they want. But for us, that was logical to us, right? You know, it's, but you know, their users start to use it and their users get confused. So they start to write a manual. Like so many times they say, Eric, can you send screenshots of the new designs? Because we need to write our user's manual. And I'm like, dude, nobody reads the manual anymore, right? About when I started in software, I mean, well, I started 20, over 20 years ago, but I guess 15 or 20 years ago, we were still in that writing manual stage, right? In fact, a lot of the things, what us as developers, what we would say is, you know, when, when, a, when a user would have an issue or they couldn't figure something out or it was a usability issue, like, um, you know, it wasn't a bug, they're just using it wrong we would say RTFM. And RTFM, for those of you guys who know, stands for read the effing manual, right? So that's what, something like, I so many times sitting in development teams and you're like, it's not even a bug. They're just not even using it right. RTFM, RTFM, right? And it's something we don't say anymore, which is a good thing, right? Nobody reads the manual. And design is something we always have to think about. And sometimes you put something out to your users and you don't realize how clumsy it is till you start seeing them use it. Like they'll click the wrong place, they'll, they'll go to the wrong area or whatever. And there's some really good books on UX design. Uh, and there's some that are kind of like, not technical, but they're like, um, just talk about uh, the design. Now the, my favorite one is Steve Krug's Don't Make Me Think. And I know I've talked about this book many times before. I read it in the early 2000s, it's mostly about web, but he came out with another version in 2014, which talks about web and mobile. And it's, you know, it, it's good. But the one thing, the, the, the title of the book says it all. Don't make me think. You should always want to help your users by making things usable so they can just do whatever they want to do with it, right? So nobody should have to like read the manual or anything like that. And sometimes you just have to sit down with your users and say, or, or your business clients or whatever and say, is this the best way we could lay this out? Like, how would you expect this to work? And sometimes they'll say something that's crazy. And you're like, no, nah, no, nah, we, we'll, we'll do something. You know, it's got to be like a, you know, sometimes they'll come with something that's crazy. And you're like, mm, I don't think that's very usable. I think we should do, you know, we should put this button over here. We should, you know, this is confusing. If, you know, this text over here is confusing. We need something to explain how this works and everything. Um, but RTFM is something we don't say anymore. And I think that's a great thing. And it's something to consider when you take over an existing client project or even when you're working with your clients to begin with. A lot of the times the designs I'll put forward, like just through my first prototype or whatever, that becomes the actual application. That's what actually goes live, right? 
and nobody questions it nobody says anything nobody was like they kind of just assume it i as a developer that i know best but a lot of times it's just kind of guessing right i mean there's certain things when you read don't make me think they talk about like there's certain things that you just expect like you expect the save button to be at the bottom you expect certain you know you, there, with mobile, you got different things. Like there's certain things you would expect to be up in the action bar, certain things you wouldn't, certain things you'd expect to be in the menu. So yeah, you know, just sort of like the way that you would expect them. I and you use enough applications and you see enough designs, you start to, to get that, uh, get that down. But anyway, this is a, just a really quick video today. Just, you know, first of all, to show you this beautiful weather and, um, oh God, it's so nice here. Um, and to, uh, to talk a little bit about, you know, thinking about the design because you know, if you've ever used a, a hotel shower, and this is something I've read recently, you go every time you go to a hotel, you have to figure out how the shower works because the design is not intuitive. My oven is not intuitive, and I'm not going to read that manual. And we have to think the same thing about our software. Right? We, and a lot of that comes from looking at other software, like what's popular, what people are using, and how can we use some of those same uh, user interface um, techniques that they're using. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a great week. Uh, that's it for today. I'll talk to you again next time. Bye.